Teresa. What are you doing? Reliving the most wonderful night of my life with the man I love. Teresa, give it up. Ethan will never return your love. What would you say if I told you Ethan asked me to marry him? Are you serious? Ethan Crane proposed to you? Well, not exactly, but what he said meant the same thing. What did he say, Teresa? He said it, it didn't matter if two people came from different worlds. That if they loved each other, they would find a way to be together. <laughs> That's hardly a marriage proposal. Mama, don't you understand? This means there's a chance for me and Ethan. He said he would defy his family for love. Oh, Teresa, that's a very romantic thing to say, but as far as you're concerned, it's a fantasy. Please, don't set yourself up for a heartbreak like this. Mama, don't worry about me. I'm going to make all my dreams come true. You'll but, see. But you are dreaming, Teresa. Ethan Crane will never ask you to marry him. How do you know, Whitney? In fact, if Louise hadn't showed up last night, who knows what might have happened. Oh, Louise, your brother found you with Ethan. Oh, I know the, the night must have ended in disaster. No. Almost, but not quite. So tell us what happened. Okay. First, a photographer took my picture with Ethan. But I told Ethan I was afraid that Louise would see it. So he took the film away from the cameraman and threw it away. Well, that was lucky. <sighs> yeah. And then Luis showed up. And when I saw Luis, I told Ethan that Luis would kill me if he saw me there with Ethan. So he hid me. And then Luis came up to Ethan and demanded to know where I was. Well, what did Ethan say? Did he pretend you weren't there? No, oh, he wasn't about to give me away, Mama. And then suddenly Gwen showed up and <laughs> pretended to be Ethan's date. Ugh, Luis must have been furious. Oh, he didn't want to believe Ethan, but he had no choice when Gwen showed up. Well, what did Gwen say when she found you with her fiancé? They're not engaged, at least and not officially yet. Teresa, what did she say? I don't know. She didn't say much of anything while I was there. Well, she couldn't have been very happy. Well, I don't know how she could have been upset, Mama. The only reason I went to the ballet with Ethan was because Gwen was too busy working to go with him. <sighs> well, what did Gwen say when Louise left? I don't know. I had to get out of there fast so I could beat Louise home. <sighs> well, she must have been shocked. Even though there's nothing going on between you and Ethan. It could cause trouble for Ethan and Gwen, Teresa. Well, I don't see how if I mean nothing to Ethan. But how would you feel, Teresa, if the guy that you were going to marry was on a date with another girl? I mean, Gwen has loved Ethan since she was a little girl. I mean, she thinks he belongs to her. I can't believe it. My mother and my best friend are more worried about Gwen than about me. I have also loved Ethan since I was a little girl, Mama. I have put a lot of time and energy into this relationship, too. I have as much right to be with Ethan as Gwen. Are you more worried about Gwen's feelings than mine? Why can't you be more supportive of me? Teresa, you are my love, my life, and I only want your happiness. But if you persist in this fantasy, you will never find happiness. How do you know? Because I know, I know Ethan will never marry you. He and Gwen have been pledged to each other since childhood. Both families expect them to marry. Teresa, that's how it works with people of their class. I know Ethan will follow his heart. And his heart will lead him straight to Gwen. No, Whitney, no. If only you had been there last night. Mama. If only you had seen the way Ethan was with me. It was magical. It was a different world. Everything I have ever dreamed of in my life. And I was part of it. And I fit right in and I could tell Ethan was proud to be seen with me. Mama, I was Cinderella. And Ethan was my prince. And where is your prince now, Teresa? Who did he go home with last night? Gwen. Who is he with right now? Gwen. You are nothing but a memory. You were the last thing on his mind this morning. If I would have told you a month ago 
that I would be wearing a designer dress and fabulous jewelry and going to the ballet in a limousine with Ethan Crane and to a party with important society people, would you have believed me? No. 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 You would have said, impossible. But I just proved that nothing is impossible if you want it enough. Enough. I... All right, I've got to get to work. Whitney, maybe you can talk some sense into this girl. I'll try. You know how much I love you, Gwen? My poor, deluded, stubborn Teresa. If you'll excuse us. What are you doing here? Uh, I came back to return the dress and the jewelry I wore to the ballet last night. Fine. I'll return the dress to Ethan's sister's closet. And you can return the jewelry to Mrs. Crane's vanity, and then you go to school. Yes, Mom. <sighs> Teresa, I know it hurts you to see Ethan and Gwen together, but maybe now you'll believe that Ethan is spoken for. I didn't see a ring on Gwen's finger a moment, did you? No. And until then, Ethan's a free man. 